No one asked me to comment on Ethan's response to Trisha's apology, but I do have something to say about this. Trisha never explicitly said, um, I want to fire the crew, right? What she did say is that I only hire fans. They're not professionals. She's not comfortable being them with them. And if we're going to continue frenemies, we need a whole new staff. We need a whole new crew. Did she say, I want you to fire the crew? No, but like you said everything. You li you did say that without explicitly saying, I want to fire the crew. No, she didn't. She did not, Ethan. Right, so he's probably not going to watch what I have to say in a video. But uh, she did not say that. She wanted a whole new crew. She's probably speaking specifically for frenemies. I don't know how you took that as wanting to fire all crew. I mean, I'm not Trisha. I'm not gonna know entirely of what Trisha wanted to say in that moment. But I think that's what she was trying to say. And that's where my mind would go if I were to interpret the situation of when she made that comment. Right, so with this apology uh, from Trisha and Ethan's response, um, I, I made some dot points for people to follow for what's going on. If you're not following the drama, then you probably don't know what's going on. So if you're not interested in this, don't worry about watching this video. I'm just reacting to what Ethan said for the response for Trisha's apology here. Right, so Ethan was mentioning in this response, he was saying Trisha wanted to fire everyone, right? But that is false. I just reacted to that. Trisha said she wanted a whole new crew. And the only podcast that she makes an appearance on is Frenemies. I think she wanted crews specifically for frenemies that she gets a say in hiring. Is the way I took it. I don't know how Ethan took it as she wants to fire everybody because obviously she didn't say that. He admitted that she didn't say that. And from my take on when this whole conflict broke out, I thought that's what she was saying. Not fire everybody, but hire more people. But with Ethan saying that, what he interpreted, which is, he, she wants to fire everybody. Is it they? Sorry, Trisha is they, isn't it? <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Yeah. So Ethan saying that Trisha wanted to fire everybody caused all of this uh, nonsense to unfold. So from my opinion, I, I do agree that she shouldn't have made this all public, but I also think Ethan, uh, Ethan? <laughs> Ethan should realize that he misunderstood and incorrectly paraphrased. What, she, uh, what they said, then told a lie to H3 crew, which upset them, then triggered this whole mess. So I see this as a bad move, as a boss, and also a terrible diplomat. Even if she did say that, you shouldn't have said it to the crew. If you're trying to build a healthy work environment, then resolve it in confidence? Wait, what's the word? Well, quietly, anyway, quietly. Rather than telling everybody that this person said this, you're not creating a safe work environment at that point you're getting people riled up which is not the way to go and with this 100 percent going to h3's side for the highlights i don't understand either i think trisha should get a fraction of that at least even if she doesn't put in work because it's her face on the show she plays a role in it she should get a slice if you give trisha the 5% of the frenemies highlights. It would still make a better argument than having none go to Trisha at all. Right, and when Ethan said Trisha, actually, I'm not sure if she, did he say that? Did she say I sexually harassed her? No, she didn't say that, but she said I was making everything sexual. I was making her beauty products sexual that I, she was saying that I intentionally brought up this candle thing with her family on the way to Disneyland just to get a rise of them, which to me is just so offensive, bro. That's just a horrible thing to say. Like, you know, and she, I feel like she really tried her app. She, she tried to ruin my life. Hold up. <laughs> so what was the point about the whole sexual harassing? What happened? I thought he was just about to explain or justify how he took that as sexual, uh, well, her, sorry, Trisha accusing that Ethan was sexually harassing Trisha. I don't understand this because she didn't, oh well, fuck, they didn't at all. 
This whole thing is just a contest of making the other person look as bad as possible. Ethan is as bad as Trisha in this conflict. Right, so on Trisha's side though, there, there is a problem with her apology as well. She monetized her apology, which is not a way to go. She didn't privately apologize to Ethan, which he mentioned in his response. Sorry, did I use she again? <sighs> but Trisha did mention that they are not a confrontational person. But I don't know how Trisha, knowing that Trisha is not a confrontational person, is able to upload a video apologizing to the person that you're trying to avoid. I don't know how this is going to make it easier, but with Trisha, I try not to follow things logically anyway. Alright, so Trisha caused unnecessary family conflict, right? Trisha talked about it with the sister, and the sister got into the fight as well, making videos about 5% and this Disney experience that uh, Ethan just explained about the candlestick and all that. Right, so it shouldn't have gone that far. Trisha didn't have to talk about this with the family. Should have just resolved it with Ethan, but of course Trisha couldn't do that because not confrontational is the excuse. Right, so in this response behind me here, Ethan was just talking about how he finds it to be very hard to forgive Trisha because they thought they had a trust between friends and, uh, yeah. He expected it to be solved privately, right? Yeah, didn't have to like become this whole drama between them. And I am with Ethan on that. It's just, you're not innocent, mate. With what Ethan did, he is as bad as Trisha. They both reacted to this whole thing childishly, which happens to be also helping their career, by the way. So many people tuning in, but of course it's not gonna be mentally healthy for both of them to have people witnessing this and like pitching in whilst giving them views for all the videos and interaction that they make online. I really miss Frenemies. <laughs> I really enjoyed Frenemies and the good that it brings, but unfortunately, maybe it is best that it's gone because these two, Trisha and Ethan, are real people behind the camera experiencing real world problems. Nothing is of anything artificial. It's not reality TV. So you really have to look after, I guess, your personal life, your men mental state. It must be very exhausting trying to navigate yourself through all of these uh, comments of people who doesn't know enough of what's going on, pretending like they know and making all kinds of comment that has no truth whatsoever. It's all frustrating. It shouldn't have happened, but people make mistakes. But to yeah, just quickly summarize what I think on this whole situation, although nobody asked, Ethan should apologize as well. And Trisha should apologize better. And as a family, they should really mend what they have broken. Even if it doesn't go back as far as, you know, getting frenemies back, you should at least go back to a point where you were able to eat dinner together, you know? I think that would have been nice to have back. But anyways, my name is Shai. I'm half Japanese, half Filipino, living in Brisbane City, Australia, and I'm currently 28 years old for your information. Not single, kinda gay.